data drives decisions, it drives information, creates new insights, an asset where you and I can have the same copy and it doesn't hurt. So this is an intangible good uh, that just creates a whole new set of opportunities. So data is like coal, it's the sort of like raw material. Everybody is using coal. It changed the world in ways that are extremely complex. Talking about data and the use of data, it's not only a positive story. There are challenges and concerns that we also need to address. But all in all, I think using data, data devices, really helps us to get to the heart of the matter when it comes to assisting people who are in need. The situation in Kenya and a lot of other developing countries is very different than the U.S. In, in the U.S. the primary problem is big data. How do you deal with the massive amount of data that you get from the internet? We're not dealing with big data, we're dealing with no data. So we, we need to create the data, we need to find the data, and we need to figure out what can be done with it. Mapkibira started with an aim to try and make the invisible visible. We wanted to be able to tell our own stories in our own perspective by trying to link these stories to the relevant uh, authorities for positive action. Most of our work were internet oriented and many Kibira people don't have an access to internet. So we needed to come up with an offline strategy where people can now be able to access our data. Just doing the printouts, maps, and distributing randomly to people, and even painting the maps on the wall so that people can access it when they are passing by. In Colombia, when you are displaced, you have to register to a local institution, and so you have a figure. What is much more difficult is how many people are not displaced, but are threatened. And this is one of the big challenges, because you need to go there to interview the people, to do a rapid need assessment, to ask them what is their situation, to compile. The challenge we have is really to bring this information, to collect that, to show what I call the invisible effect of the conflict in Colombia. Bueno, entre las problemáticas o necesidades más fuertes que se han identificado en el territorio del árbol donde estábamos es que pues son comunidades que se han generado a partir de asentamientos subnormales, es decir, a través del desplazamiento forzado o también de desplazamiento por situación económica. Entonces, cuando logramos recogerla, lo que nos permite a nosotros saber es hasta qué punto estamos generando unos impactos pertinentes o no en las comunidades. The number of people displaced around the world today, it's never been greater. Now we have to really pull together and have hope that we can make a difference. And data is a critical part of that. Without knowing authoritatively, objectively, exactly what the needs are, then how can we set about trying to meet those needs? If data is, is, is about a pail and filling that pail, we're not going anywhere. It's got to be interoperable. It's got to be exchanged. It's got to be done with communities of practice. It's got to be cross-sectoral, multi-hazard, and connected in a very visceral way to what governments do. Data is here with us, it's here to stay. It's nothing new. Uh, we've always been collecting data, we will always be collecting data. We need to learn to you know, use it. It's one really exciting thing that we can easily and very affordably be able to make uh, sense of and be able to use in our daily lives. So let's do it.